Given the experiences of other countries and the science which was lauded to be followed, there were errors, according to Chairman of the Grenada Movement, Dr. Patrick Antoine, that should have been avoided. Unforced errors means, for instance, that we already know in Grenada there's been a concern about consultations with everything. It's not new. And all that COVID has done is that it's exposed people's desire to be consulted. Let me tell you that I monitored one of the consultations. And I have to say that it left a lot to be desired. Uh, it, it was a situation where you went to sit and to be told. The government of Grenada embarked on a series of virtual consultations with key stakeholders as part of efforts to drive greater collaboration in the campaign against COVID-19. Grenada and other Caribbean islands continue to grapple with the resistance to vaccination. Dr. Antoine advocates for careful analysis to determine the root causes and map a strategy to address this. And we've participated in another study elsewhere where, for instance, there were five or six causes of hesitancy. And we approached each of those based on what the root cause, the word is root cause of that hesitancy was. We still need to do that. So our perspective is that these unforced, unforced errors, errors that we ought not to have made because we see what's happening around us and we knew with certainty that COVID was not going away. We said it. We should have put these things in place so that we don't have these things happening. That's what I mean by unforced errors. TGM Sherman said individuals and policymakers must take ownership of these unforced errors, noting the lack of adequate bed facilities for COVID-19 patients from March 2020 to April 2021. Uh, similarly, we still haven't provided for families where people can't self-isolate. And there's so many instances where people are said to stay at home, but they have a two-room house or a three-room house. And there are five, six or seven of them. Now, we know that it's being done for the police officers. But so many other people now with the explosion in the number of positive cases find themselves vulnerable. The expansion of the general hospital's capacity was completed on Wednesday. Director of Hospital Services Dr. Kara McIntosh confirmed that they can now accommodate up to 55 persons in isolation. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.